What's up traders? This is V Trades, and today I will be doing a technical analysis breakdown for NEO with the ticker symbol NIO. I will first be going over what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So thank you guys very much for all the likes you guys have been giving me on my videos. It does help the channel a lot. And all I ask for is a simple like and uh, I greatly appreciate it. I do look at all the comments. I do reply to all the comments. So if you guys want to leave a comment, uh, I will reply to it. So let's take a look at NEO on the daily chart. We look at NEO two times a week, every Wednesday and every Monday. So let's take a look at what happened since Monday. You can see that price had a nice move up on Tuesday. Uh, however, um, price you know gapped down today and continued trend down lower uh, towards the mid sevens once again. So again, is this bullish or bearish? Well, we are at a support level. So price should or is expected to uh, continue move up higher and do something like this reach the opposite side of the yellow range and possibly you know break out higher but again you have to look at the entire picture the bears are trying to do a certain thing and the bulls are trying to do a certain thing uh, the bears are trying to reach this measuring target at the 464 level and the bulls are trying to you know push up the price so who does who looks stronger like if you were to take a side sometimes you don't take a side in the market but if you were to take a side Whose side would you be on right now, the bears or the bulls? So who looks stronger? It looks like the bears are stronger to me because we're seeing price still below this downward trend line. Price is still making lower lows, lower highs, below the EMA. And we saw a large drop today. We might just see a breakout of this uh, yellow range towards the downside, towards that mesh and move target. So that is looking uh, high probability. Um, you know, we are at support, so you can't just, you know, take a short right now, obviously. But the expectation is uh is leaning more towards the downside i'd be expecting the measurement target to be reached again the bullish case and what neo has the possibility to do is what it did back here from june up until you know july so this large move up uh would be the bullish case large move up pull back uh in a different you know couple of different forms wouldn't doesn't really matter and then you know continuation of the upside so that would be the bullish case um is that going to occur right now it doesn't look likely especially after today so we might just see a breakdown lower uh and continue to see bearish price action either way if you want to be bullish for neo you got to see a break of this trend line you can clearly see this trend line has been acting as overhead resistance back here since september early september so you want to see a break of this trend line at the very least if you want to be bullish until then you know the expectation is more downside for neo uh so that's all i see for neo on the daily chart uh, I think stocks are in for a ride, especially Chinese stocks. Here's a look at the weekly chart. Weekly chart shows that price, um, you know, stalled right around that mid seven for quite a while. And NEO still has a way, quite a bit of ways towards that all time lows. If it does want to continue working its way down, there's still room to the downside. That's what I mean, uh, visible on the price chart. Uh, sometimes a chart makes new all time lows, but you can still see the lows and if price does want to continue to move lower, there is room to go lower, uh, easily to go lower. So it could be uh, still bearish for NEO uh, in the long term. Uh, as of right now, short term bearish for NEO until I see a large move up uh, and possibly even long term bearish for NEO. So that's all I have for NEO on the daily and weekly charts. And I'll give you guys an update next week, Monday, most likely. This is V Trades, and thank you for your time. The V Trades technical analysis course is now live. Learn to read the chart the right way to prevent costly mistakes. Click the link below to start training now.